All right, so Guadalupe invests nine hundred dollars in an account, in one account, and twelve hundred in uh, an account, th paying three percent higher interest. At the end of one year, she had earned two hundred and forty-six dollars in interest. What rates did she invest in? Let's make a table, and we have uh, an account one and account two, and we know that um, principal times rate is equal to interest. Time is just one year, so we don't have to worry about that. And we know that in one account she invests 900. Let me change the color here. 900. And the other one, 1200. The rate for one, we don't know, but the other one was 3% higher, so it's whatever. It's just, we'll let our one our be R, and the other one will be R plus 0.03. And if we multiply those together, we get the interest. So 900R and 1200 times R plus 0.03. And combined, she got $246. So that last column is going to give us our equation. So our equation is uh, 900R plus 1200 times R plus 0.03 equals 246. So that's 900R plus 1200R plus 0.03 times 1200. It's 36 equals 246. Let's make a little more space here. All right, combining the um, the two R's, it's 2100R plus 36 equals 246. Subtract the 36 over on both sides, and let's see, that was going to be 210, right? So 210 divided by 2100 means that R is 0.01. So the percent of the one, we let R go to the one that she did $900 on. So the $900 one was 1% 1 interest. And since the other one was 3% higher, that would be 4% higher, or 4%. So 1% and 4%.